Explain how the structure of an artery allows it to carry out its function efficiently. I want you to go about this question by just drawing the structure of the artery. And we, we, I'm drawing it right now. And as I draw it, we're going to move outside from outside the artery to inside the artery and talk about the specific characteristics which are going to help the artery do its function of pumping the blood away. So the first one that I've labelled just then is collagen fibres found on the outside, and they provide strength to the artery. It's like um, a reinforcement to the artery so that it doesn't pop when we have large pressures within the artery itself. Now you've got a thick muscular wall which contains both elastic fibres and muscle fibres. Now what do these do? These also give strength, similar to collagen fibres, however, however they also help pump the blood by snapping back and forward and pushing the blood towards the body. Now we mentioned that there is a thick muscular wall and this is because that um, as soon as blood exits the ventricle of the heart then the pressures are extremely high. Now, thick muscular walls allow this artery to withstand high pressures. If, if the muscular walls were very thin, such as in the vein, for example, then high pressures would pop the artery. Think of uh, a balloon that's been blown up too much. It would simply pop the balloon. Now, I'm just drawing across the lumen or the hole of the, of the artery, and this is a what is described as a narrow lumen. So the lumen is just the hole that's in there, and the lumen is very small. And this once again helps to maintain high pressure. The final thing that is needs to be talked about is the inner layer of the lumen. So these are specialized cells called endothelial cells. These are single layers of cells which reduce friction of the, of the blood flow. It kind of uh, lubricates the blood to flow along the arteries at very high pressure. And this is how I did this particular question.